Hello, today I would like to show you Motorola DM4601. As you can see from the form factor, that is a radio that is designed to be mounted inside of a vehicle. The one at the end tells us that we've got a built-in GPS module, so this radio is capable of reporting your position to the dispatch or a dispatch can call your radio and ask for your current location. Of course, it could be used as a base station, but that would be a little bit overkill. If you are not moving, then reporting your position is not that important. What we can see, we can see on the front, we've got a nice LCD screen. And what is important, it is a color one, which just give you a little bit more pleasant use. I enjoy that and I, I think that's very nice. We've got a rotary encoder as our multi-purpose switch. We can adjust volume and we can change the channels, but it also have a positive click if you push the knob so you can change if you hold it you can change the channel but the default is just adjusting the volume we've got a power button we've got a couple status led the microphone connector is uh, really nice i very enjoyed it is rubberized and it have got seal Maybe that's not a, a rubber, maybe that's a silicone, but yeah, you've got a seal. I enjoyed that more from the computer style, the RJ45 connector that you can find on some radios. We've got a couple function keys. We've got also a selector for the different settings on the menu. You can scroll down and confirm the selection we've got our home button and here is a speaker on the side we've got a screw for mounting it and tilting just if we would like to see the bottom part is just a one big heat sink and that is a really massive and that's quite interesting because if you take a look here, the, the current is 11 amp, so 11 amp for a, for a 25 watt radio at 13 volt. That looks like a little bit overkill to me. That's like over 100 watt of input power. So yeah, that's quite weird. We've got the external antenna connecting connector. This is a very nice, we've got uh, just a BNC. Very enjoy that. We've got a power input with a corresponding cable. I'm going to show you that in a second. We've got a multi-purpose connector that's going to be uh, similar to the side connector on your radio. And there is a couple of different things that you can do. You can not only route uh, audio, audio, PTT, and much more. You can program it. So yeah, that's a real multi-purpose. And I saw a programming cable that can be hooked up here and could be done also here. So you can have it connected to the computer, but still having your uh, speaker microphone. So that's really cool. And we've got a SMA connector for the external GPS antenna. That is of course only a uh, input. And this is, this is how it looks like. So we've got a really, really nice radio, very nice form factor. Let's take a look at the other stuff that we've got. 
here as you can see we've got a mounting bracket for our microphone we've got some kind of stuff and here is a mounting bracket for your radio so basically you put your radio here you adjust the screw and you can tilt it to get a better view on the on the display here we've got a power cable with a inline fuse just a core type very nice cable let's take a look what kind of what kind of cross section of this wire is and it is a 12 awg so quite beefy cable let's hook it up to power as you can see you cannot go wrong only one way will be accepted okay very nicely let's take a look at the speaker sorry at the microphone that is just a microphone it doesn't have a speaker and here is that new type of connector i mean that's new for me because i didn't have that type of mobile radio but i saw that on the 3000 series so it's not something really new feel nice in hand like everything from motorola it's hard to to find something from motorola that feel cheap and you're going to align that and here you are rotating and it's connected like that very nicely we can i'm going to hook up to a dummy load we just have to keep and remember to set it to low power because that's going to blow up really quickly okay so we've got a negative to the black one the positive 13 volt is going to the other end of the inline fuels section and we can try to power it on so we are on the dummy load it's booting up we've got our nice song and here it is we are at the main menu as you can see we've got a bluetooth icon just what i told you we've got uh, no problem in connecting this and programming wirelessly we do not need to have a programming cable you can connect this to your computer pair just like a bluetooth device and program from that here we can adjust the brightness if we go there we've got a power mode we've got a high and low just like i told you at the beginning you can adjust the power level from the CPS. So if you'd like to have a low power at two and a half watt, no problem, you can set that. You can select the five watt as low power. If that's your requirement, you can do that. And I believe that the, the key icon will be encryption because it does have, I'm in the single single mode and we've got a scan but of course you have to program a list for that feature here on the menu we've got the contacts we've got our scan list we can select the zones messages of course you do not have a keypad so you've got a problem i'm not sure if you can compose that from this i I'm not sure. I'm not sure about composing without uh, a keypad on of, on a different radio handheld. You can just set a uh, quick text. You can 
pre-program like I'm here, I will be in five minutes and you can send them, but here I'm not sure, maybe that's a similar option. So adjusting the volume, you just rotate the knob. If you would like to change the channel, you hold this and you've got a channel selection. You change your channel and you confirm by clicking and you go back to adjusting volume. Hop, hop. And as you can see, really nicely. I believe we can also on the contacts list, we've got no problem in calling an alert. We can do a radio check and the radio is working just fine. And by the way, I just ping that radio Motorola SL4000, very nice. I enjoyed that. We are done loaded. We can try to transmit in the close proximity. Testing, testing, testing. One, two, one, two, three, four, three, four five. five, radio, radio check. check. So this is the first look at the Motorola DM4601. As you can see, really nice looking radio. I very enjoyed so far. And yeah, stay tuned. Maybe we are going to make a video about connecting it wirelessly to a computer and in conjunction with the SL4000 sending digital data from a smartphone to this radio and that radio is going to respond to just our regular smartphone via Bluetooth. That might be interesting, so stay tuned for a future update. Right now, thank you very much for watching. See you next time and bye-bye.